The family of 15-year-old Nora Quirin have said their hearts are broken after her body was discovered in the Malaysian jungle yesterday. A post-mortem examination is underway with the results expected later this morning. Andy Moore reports. Nora's family released a new photo of the 15-year-old they called their most precious girl. And in a statement they said, We would like to thank all the people that have been searching for Nora and trying their best to find her. Nora is at the heart of our family. She is the truest, most precious girl, and we love her infinitely. The cruelty of her being taken away is unbearable. Our hearts are broken. We will always love our Nora. A helicopter lifted Nora's body out of the dense jungle about two kilometres from the resort where she was staying. It was winched up in a cage supported by a police officer. Okay, at 12 noon, we reported ourselves at the Dusun Resort. The volunteers who found Nora said they had been searching in a line when one of them saw her body lying across a small stream. He shouted, they all stopped, and then sometime later, the police arrived to tape off the area. Nora's family said her learning difficulties were so severe she would never have left her bedroom through a window on her own. She was wearing only night clothes. They suspect foul play. Malaysian police are keeping an open mind, saying they can't rule out a possible criminal inquiry. So much depends on the results of the post-mortem examination, which started a few hours ago. Nora's family have already identified her body in hospital. It's so difficult to describe, but they're, they're, they're really distraught in grief, yeah? And I feel the same, uh, to lose a child, yeah? It's terrible. Nora! The search that lasted 10 days is now over. The results of the post-mortem examination will go to the Attorney General, who will decide if the police need to investigate further. Andy Moore, BBC News. Well, let's speak now to our Southeast Asia correspondent, Howard Johnson, who's in Seremban, outside the hospital where the post-mortem examination has been taking place. Howard, um, what is the latest that you're hearing? Hi, Joanna. Yes, we're waiting for a press conference in the next hour or so, which should release some details from this post-mortem examination that's taking place here today. That started more than five hours ago. This morning, a senior pathologist came down from the capital city, Kuala Lumpur, to begin this examination. We're still waiting for the details. Lots of police officers are out here at the moment. A bank of cameras next to me, too. This is a big story here in Malaysia. Yesterday afternoon, we heard the sad news that the body had been discovered in this hilly area close to the resort, uh, found next to a small stream. We've heard details today from the hikers saying that they found the body in the corner of the stream on, on next to the bank. They said that the stream itself was quite shallow and they weren't sure whether it was actually connected to the river that flows past the Dusan resort where she went missing 10 days ago. And what about the police investigation? What is happening with that? Well, at the moment, this is still being treated as a missing persons case. There hasn't been any evidence until perhaps this uh, forensic uh, examination, this post-mortem examination might reveal more details as to her cause of death. Uh, at the moment, it's still being treated as a missing persons case, but the family have instructed a lawyer to be on standby in case it does move through to a criminal investigation. But as things stand right now, we're still waiting for confirmation of how Nora died from this uh, senior pathologist who came down here today. What about her parents? They put out a statement thanking the 350 people who had got involved in searching for her, and they have said that... Uh, Quite clearly, they are heartbroken. I mean, it's, heart, it's heartbreaking watching this and knowing that this is what they're going through. Will they stay there? Yeah, this has been a terrible time for the family. They came here, obviously, more than a week ago for a luxury holiday, and it ended up being a nightmare for them. We saw them going into the Doosan Resort yesterday, saw someone being consoled in the back of the car, clearly distraught from this news. Today, in this uh, press release, they said Nora has brought people together, especially from France, Ireland, Britain and Malaysia and United Kingdom, in their love and support for her and her family. She has truly touched the whole world. To all our friends and family at home, we can't thank you enough for all of your love. As you can imagine, the media here are giving them their privacy at the moment. They're still in the Doosan uh, resort area, we understand. And I think they'll be on hand until the, the details of this uh, forensic examination of the body are released later today to see what happens next.
And, and just very quickly, Howard, do you have any idea as to exactly when the details might be released, how long it might take? The police say they're going to give a press conference in an hour's time, so that's 5 o'clock local time, I think that's 10 o'clock UK time. We're expecting that to be held right here, so as soon as we get that news, we'll bring that to you. OK, Howard, thank you very much, and we'll, of course, be back there as soon as there is any more detail emerging from there.